that the King's colour will go to Olympia for the opening of the tournament. Chapman beats Woodfull in the toss, just like old times, and the Aussies take the field for their first match in London. Wyatt and Killick open the MCC innings, and despite the early loss of Killick, Wyatt, a possible leader of his country in the tests, plays himself in. With two wickets down, Hendron joins him, and soon shows our Australian friends that their bowling can be hit. Wyatt reaches 50. Wall, the Australian fast bowler, gets Wyatt after a sterling knock of 72. Valentine, also suggested as a possible England captain, gets off the mark with a six and a four. Meanwhile, Hendron, playing gallantly, reaches his hundred, the first century against the tourists. Valentine's place is filled by Chapman. The MCC side certainly seems to be studied with possible test skippers, and he starts with a single. Hendron's 135 earns him a great ovation as he returns to the pavilion. Chapman doesn't seem to be quite at home when playing Grimmett, but carries his bat for 31 with the MCC total at 341 for 7. <laughs> 